Hello, my name is Dylan Kuwende, and the name of my campaign is hashtag Get Dill to Cambridge. I'm currently in the final year of my undergraduate degree here at UCL, where I read history and philosophy of science. I'm absolutely thrilled to have been offered to study law with senior status at Cambridge University. At its core, HBS is the interdisciplinary study of epistemology. That is the fundamental nature, structure, and limits of knowledge acquisition. Studying HBS has equipped me with a healthy skepticism of gospel truths and grand narratives in science. A bit like the law, science is often viewed as an incontrovertible source of knowledge that works better when it operates independently of social and political concerns. But in my essays, I critique this value-free ideal in science using historical, philosophical, and sociological methods of reading. HBS has provided me with solid ground for debating ethics, social justice, and relative merit, which I'm now keen to do from a legal perspective. To paraphrase Philip K. Howard and Virginia Eubanks, it is my view that innocent blood is being shed at the altar of neutral justice and oppressive algorithms. It is my civic duty, therefore, to plead the cause of the oppressed. As a former Stephen Lawrence scholar, I am very keen to investigate and interrogate criminal and digital justice, first as a legal academic before training as a barrister. 26 years have passed since Stephen's murder. His case was a watershed in legal history as it exposed the fundamental weaknesses of our criminal justice system and led to the revocation of the 800-year-old double jeopardy. In effect, Stephen's murder changed the law. This is a prime example of the law's multifaceted and complex nature, as it functions as a nexus of morality, politics, and history. It is this, combined with the lawyer's capacity to be a positive steward for social change, that motivates me to pursue law at university and beyond. I'm the British-born son of two Rwandan genocide refugees, though our heritage lies in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Both my parents, from a very young age, inculcated in me values of resilience and ambition. My father, who was also offered a place at Cambridge to study electrical engineering, didn't have sufficient funds to accept the offer, encouraged me to read widely from a young age and fostered my intellectual appetite. He also ran his own charity which taught non-native IT skills and consequently instilled into me a desire to pursue a career with a moral purpose. My mother, being a wellspring of inspiration, comfort and love, encouraged me to develop my Christian faith. I have until the 31st of July to raise £66,226 or else my offer will be withdrawn. Having been state educated and growing up in the inner city of London, I intersect various demographics for whom studying at Cambridge remains a distant dream, a fleeting fantasy. But in the spirit of the Black Men of Cambridge movement, Isaiah's inspiring Stratford to Harvard campaign and Reggie Nelson's empowering journey into the city, I was never going to let my income be a limiting factor. Otherwise, I'd be doing a disservice to myself, to my family, and to the communities I wish to serve. Since law conversion courses are not entitled for student loans, and the various scholarships for which I've applied are neither sufficient nor guaranteed, I have no alternative but to crowdfund. Your support, therefore, is absolutely essential. I'm hoping this campaign will reach as many people as possible, so please like, share, and donate however much you can. No donation is too little. And together, let's get Dill to Cambridge. Thank you.